there's no better feeling than getting the last of the field seeded and the machinery cleaned and put away for yet another seeding season. Nothing to do now but sit back and relax until harvest. Oh, if that were only the case. We all know the work is not done, especially when the hail hits. But what do you do when that happens? How do you help make your claim experience the very best it can be? This video will help you to determine what stage your crop is at and what its hail estimation is. This will help to determine the right time for an adjuster to assess the damage, whether that is immediately or to wait for the damage to fully emerge. The tender vegetation of the pea plant makes it very susceptible to damage from hail at time of emergence to harvest. Knowing the stage of your peas at the time of the storm will greatly assist the inspector's response to your claim. There are eight stages to the life cycle of peas. Each different stage has an associated loss factor to use. The first stage is emergence. This has a loss factor of 0 0.4. The second stage is leaf with a factor of 0 0.5. Stage three is two to three nodes with a factor of 0 0.6. Stage four is four to five nodes with a factor of 0 0.75. Stage five is six or more nodes with a factor of 0 0.9. Stage six is flowering, also with a factor of 0 0.9. Stage seven is potted with a factor of one. And stage eight is in the swath, also with a factor of one. Here you can see the different leaf stages of the pea plant. All fields that are hailed on in the one to six stage must have counts completed on 25 plants in a row. Stage seven potted and stage eight in the swath are a 10 plant count. Using 25 plants in a row, determine the number of plants that are completely cut off and non-viable, which is a plant that has been cut off and remains severely damaged. There is no or limited regrowth at the time of inspection. The plant is unable to recover enough to make any seed you can remove those plants from the row. Next, carefully inspect the remaining plants that were cut off but still viable. That's a plant that has been cut off but is showing good regrowth and recovery. Those plants will make seed under normal conditions. Remove those plants from the row. Using the remaining plants, determine the percentage of damage to each plant with consideration to bruised and or broken branches within the row. After assessing the cut off non-viable, cut off viable, and the bruised broken plants, additional head loss may be required because of missing flowers or small deformed pods as a result of hail in the later stages. Suggestions to verify this loss are to compare plants from areas of the field or surrounding areas that do not have any damage. Caution must be taken if you are taking pod and seed counts and comparing plant to plant because of the variability that exists within a field due to the variety of conditions such as soil type, variety, flower basing due to heat, crop type, and disease. To determine the percentage of loss for cutoff or non-viable plants, take the total number of cutoff or non-viable plants divided by the total plant stand multiplied by the stage loss factor. So for example, if you had a stage three plant and five plants were cut off out of a total of 25 total plants, you would divide 25 into 5, which gives you 0 0.04, multiplied by 100, multiplied by 0 0.6, which is the factor for the stage 3 plant, which gives you a 12% damage. We're now going to look at the percentage of loss for setback cutoff viable. We will take our total stand, minus our cutoff 9 viable, minus our cutoff viable, divided by 2, divided by the total stand, multiplied by the factor. So in this example, stage three plant, 10 plants cut off viable, 15% bruised and broken out of a total of 25 plants. So for the cut off viable, we take 25, which is our total plants, minus five, that was the math before with the cut off non-viable, minus 10, which is our plant's cutoff viable, divided by two, divided by 25, multiplied by 0.6, which is the stage factor, multiplied by 100, 
to give you that 12% damage. So now to determine the percentage of loss for setback for bruised and broken, take your total stand, subtract the cutoff non-viable, subtract the cutoff viable, those we determined in the previous slides, multiplied by the percentage of bruised and broken, divided by two, divided by total plant stand, multiplied by the loss factor. So 25 minus five minus 10 equals 10. That math came from those slides before. Multiplied by 15%, which is the percentage of the bruised and broken, and that works out to 1.5, but we're gonna round up to two, so it gives a total of 2% damage. Now to get our total damage loss, we'll be able to use the math in the slides before to determine our total damage. So you take your non-viable, which was the 12%, your cutoff viable, which is 12%, and your bruised and broken, which is 2%. Add them all together to get a total of 26% total damage on the pea crop. Stage six flowering may use the stage one to stage five algorithms to determine loss, or it may be deferred. Stage seven potted and stage eight in the swath. Pod loss can be determined by counting all the pods produced by each plant, including missing pods on the ground on 10 consecutive plants. Sometimes the entire pod will be lost due to hail damage. Usually pods have to be shelled and seeds in the pods examined to arrive at the proper percentage of actual damage. Torn shells could have destroyed seeds or mold in the pod, which could ruin the seed. The pod can also show scar damage and the seeds inside still be okay. Divide the number of damaged and missing seeds by the number of total seeds. Peas in pods grown for seed have to be examined carefully and could have more allowable seed loss damage. Otherwise, procedures are the same when doing all hail assessments. Pod numbers per plant vary, as do seeds in pods. Usually, two full flowers per node will mean two pods per node will develop. Now that you can confidently stage and do a primary assessment on your crop, the next step is to report your claim. Please take a moment to watch the step-by-step -step guide on how to file your claim online using Connect. For more information on our hail claim or any other procedure, please visit our website at www.afsc.ca or contact your local branch. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for additional updates, announcements, and our connection to the community. Thanks for watching.